Hey everybody, this is Andrew here with the Tower E-Bike Repair Shop. Today we're gonna to be talking about volts, amps, and watts, and what they mean for your e-bike. Now I'm sure you've probably seen these, you know, shopping for e-bikes or checking out what's popular on the market, but we're gonna help, uh, you know, inform you a little bit and hopefully kind of clear up some of the mystique you may have looking at these things. So we'll start off with probably the one you're most familiar with, and that's gonna be watts. Um, watts is literally the power of the system, how much power it can really deliver, and more importantly, sustain. We've talked about it in a few other videos, but it's really important to us, and that is sort of the difference between peak and sustained wattage. So realistically, if you like we have our beach bum here, this is a 500 watt motor. Well, it can peak at 750 watts occasionally. The sustained power that it delivers is 500. So there you go, it is a 500 watt motor. Now again, we've talked about another one. Some companies will just say, hey, it's a 750 watt motor, even though it just peaks at 750 and is realistically 500 watts sustained. There are some companies that do give you the peak and the sustained wattage, so definitely pay attention to that. Now, a lot of people think watts is hands down the most important thing you should look at when shopping for an e-bike. Well, they are important, really aren't the whole picture. Really watts, amps and amp hours, and the voltage all tie together to make the whole e-bike system. Volts is basically the energy potential of the entire system. So one of the things about volts is the whole system has to be the same. And typically these go in increments of 12. So you have 36 volts, then you have 48 volts. And where it kind of gets interesting is some companies out there um, advertise 52 volts, which isn't quite the same jump from 12, but those are typically the three most popular ones you'll find on the market. 48 volts realistically gonna be the most popular system on there. But some smaller systems do use 36 volts and some heavy duty ones do use 52. Then the final one is amps and amp hours. Amps is really the flow of energy and power through the system. Now amp hours, is a little bit more important when it comes to the e-bikes because amp hours is gonna give you the full uh, sort of range and storage capacity of your battery. So obviously the higher the amp hour, the longer range you can get. It's really important to pick out a system that works really well for you. If you pick out a really high watt you know, motor, but then a really low amp hour battery, you might go pretty fast, but only for a little while. Same thing with the voltage. You know, If you have a really high watt uh, motor back there, but a low voltage system, you're not gonna get the same power output as you did if you had a 48 volt system or 52. And sort of it works similarly with the relation between volts and amps as well. Typically, if you get more voltage in the system, you'll get a little bit more amps out of the system. If you get a little more amps in the system, you'll typically get a little bit more voltage out of the system. So there's a lot of science that can go into it, and this video could easily turn into an hour-long electrical science discussion, but we just wanted to quickly touch on some of the more basic topics and how they relate to your e-bike. And when you're shopping for an e-bike, definitely pay attention to the watts, but also pay attention to the amp hours and the voltage of the system as well, because those are definitely gonna be a big indication of how that bike's gonna ride to you, how it's gonna feel, and you know, most importantly, accelerate and continue to accelerate. So thanks for joining us. Hope you have a great day. Bye.